Hello, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta here and today I hope to be back to creating. Uh, believe it or not, I haven't created in four weeks, a month. Uh, but before we uh, move in into a new video, a new creative uh, project, I hope to show you quickly what I got in Poland. Because we were three weeks in Poland on a little holiday, really. We were, um, if, you, if you can call holidays, uh, visiting your relatives and running around like chickens because you had a million things to be done. Uh, yeah, but we were away for three weeks, so I haven't created and we're back a week now. So yeah, a month. But I got a few lovely things that I hope to show you just quickly. Uh, it's one, uh, It's I got it in the shop that uh, it's, it's like a mortal shop. So, and a brand that I have never seen before, it's called Rosie's Studio. If any of you ever heard about them. Uh, some journaling cards that I hope to use today. Uh, some lovely things really. Uh, some paper as well. Even I'm going to show you the paper because I think it's pretty pretty. It's pretty pretty. <laughs> so, oops. So let's see at least partial of it. Oh, that's like uh, some, some, oh. oh, wow. That is actually nice. Uh, so let's see. Kind of watercolors, sea, magic, magical seahorses, yeah, something like that. Different, a little different theme. I also got some stencils, as if I didn't have enough. <laughs> I particularly love this one, that kinds, all sorts of dots are just my cup of tea. And them kind of designs, delicate but yet very regular, are interesting as well. So uh, I hope to use some of that. Another journaling card. Uh, a decoupage paper, which is actually rice paper, believe it or not, which is super pretty and I hope maybe to use some of that. And also some butterflies, wooden butterflies and cardboard butterflies. Very strange. That's a new brand as well, I never heard about them. Creative Nehopi, which is Polish brand, I believe. Let me see if this is produced in Poland. Yes, it is. So I have to check them out for sure because it looks interesting. Stamperia, many of you do know it, uh, but I thought I can't just go without buying them. <laughs> so I hope to do a quick video today, a journaling video where we will just do a little bit of collage, I hope. Uh, and this is a book. Uh, we're gonna just. There is a video on that, video on that, there is a video, no, no video on that, <laughs> but that's okay. I hope to, uh, this is just an ordinary book, a notebook with pages like that, thin, it's more for probably drawing, uh, sketching and then journaling, but I somehow love it, I don't know why, but I do. So I'm sticking two pages together because I just think I prefer to work on a thicker pages, thicker paper, thicker base. So that's where I'm going to be at. Now, um, I didn't use all of my videos that I pre-recorded before I went to Poland, before we went to Poland. So next videos that you may see, they may they they may be the videos that were recorded before this one that I watch that you're watching right now. <laughs> so don't be surprised with the date and and things that I chat. I also believe or not have done some recordings in Poland. So once I find a little free time, I will probably do some um, video of visiting Poland. I've actually recorded loads of material. I'm not sure how good <laughs> or bad that is, but there's plenty, plenty recorded. Uh, of silly things actually by looking at it, but maybe something that you will enjoy. <clears throat> so what's the plan for today? I have either a plan to use this decoupage, uh, this paper, this rice paper, or somehow I have this uh, strange, uh, maybe this actually, Strange thought. Let me open those. How to open those? I have this. We're just gonna rip that apart. I have this feeling of using. Um, oh, they are double sided. How nice. Because they are journaling cards. Super pretty and cute, I have to say. But I'm gonna find those that are more like a background. Oh, they are two each, which is awesome. That is actually awesome. Um, Maybe, not so sure. Um, 
because I wish to kind of do a background based enjoy the little things that could be my title which is nice <clears throat> I like that very much uh, I just wish to make a background from those cards I don't know why <laughs> but that's just kind of what thought what I thought could be nice so I think that's what I'm gonna do oh I love that background here there we go that's the background I was actually looking for from the back of the box here Dee -dee -dee. Um, so there's a few nice mm -hmm -hmm, mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, I'm just trying to look at the color scheme I love that color scheme it's fabulous it really is fabulous I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking at those bigger cards and such a pity because I love this side <laughs> I love this side. Such a pity they're double sided but that's probably how the journaling cards are. I love them all very very much indeed. Um, and it's a waste because I know very much I can use that. I know that m big part of it <laughs> will be covered with paint or oh, maybe this actually. No. Sorry, I'm just trying to make up my mind and it's pretty hard to decide which color scheme I love. I love what what I have right now on that color scheme, color scheme. And maybe that hello will be nice as well. Okay, so we have that, we have that. And what I'm going to do now is I will basically grab my... Um, I will grab my... I love going kind of upside down purposely. So I'm gonna grab my print stick and I'm just gonna start gluing them down and create my background. Uh, I am not really bothered where I'm gonna put them, but I will start and see how things go. So sometimes you can of course plan it, place it how you love this to be, or you can just improvise or not, or whichever it's, <laughs> whatever works, whatever rocks your boat, basically. So, but I have this vision of using this as my background, and also to nicely, um, to, to to do the shading and to make those lines more standing out visible, and then I don't know, <laughs> but a little bit of a vision. But not that much, not that much, but a little bit. Now, uh, again, some of you may say, why would you use journaling cards for that kind of view? It's a waste and so on and so on. I like uh, looking for different usage of the products <clears throat> that are created for something else, technically. But there's no, there's no such a thing that can tell you don't use it, you can't use it that way or that way, this way. Or you have to use only that way, quite opposite. I think it's nice and interesting when you can try to use it differently and challenge yourself and show other ways of creating. So, I like that. Um, I have to say to you that it's quite late in the night. Uh, Emily is in front on the in the front in my best friend's house uh, for sleepover, and Hannah is asleep for the night. But she could be awake in a minute since she had the injection today, so she could be upset a little bit. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. She be she be perfect. And I thought I need to record something. I feel like recording because I will feel it like that tomorrow or the next day and I won't be able to record it because I have my other two teeth, still my teeth, I know, extracted tomorrow, my wisdom uh, teeth. So I said, I, ha I thought I have to do it today. I'm gonna grab my clear and white gesso now. Now I'm gonna use my clear gesso to seal everything nicely so that way all my work is prepared for all, all mediums work but recently someone left me a lovely comment saying that matte gel medium would work the same way that easily it's perfect for journaling and for uh, coloring over and honestly 
I didn't know if that's the case, if, if the matte medium gel medium works same way as transparent gesso. If that's the case, then awesome. I didn't know. I have to try it and see. Uh, because I was always sure that it does not work that way, that, that you can't uh, color it because it's, it's not going to be, it's going to be resisting the color and paint and all. But maybe I'm so in wrong. I don't know. Did you know? Did you know anything about that? Do you know anything about that? How interesting! How interesting! We learn all the time, isn't it? Now I love that totally. And now I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, and I'm gonna definitely go with white where the yellow is, more most definitely. Um, yeah, that kind of way. Now, I as I said, I do feel and need to create and record and chat to you because I've missed you so much although I was chatting a lot to my phone and recording videos for you while, while we were in Poland but since we had a big mission maybe some of you is already guessing what kind of mission no you couldn't guess could you guess maybe you couldn't we had this secret happening in Poland a big secret that nobody knew about. Nobody. I mean, nobody. Not even our friends. Not even our parents. No one. I hope to talk about that soon. <laughs> maybe in the next video. Hmm? Or maybe you're able to guess. I don't know. Um, so yes, we were quite busy with different things. Organizing and planning and no planning. <laughs> I'm very mysterious, I know. But... In time, I hope you will hear about it. So I'm trying to kind of doing, I'm not too sure what, but definitely trying to kind of play around with my white so this everything will nicely blend in. Although it was nice as it was, but that's kind of how my brush is going, how my mind is going. I'm totally free today. I'm totally, totally enjoying the freedom of my brush and I'm not stressing, I'm not thinking what I'm doing and if this pre project will be a crap that's fine as well because I just wanted to be back to you chitty chat because I terribly missed you. This is crazy. Terribly, terribly missed you and although I recorded videos and you were watching um, some watercolor videos of Emily and myself. I just missed you because I knew that this is pre-recorded and it's not the same. So yeah. <laughs> but I'm so happy. I can back home. I love being away. I love being uh, in Poland. I love being with my family and all. But I love all kinds of things that happens in Poland. But home is home, isn't it? Home is home and that's it. I'm no longer, you know, I am a <laughs> tourist in Poland right now after 13 years in Ireland. You, you, you don't, you're not, you're not, a, you, I'm not as such Polish as I would be, could be. I'm more, well, saying I'm more, I'm more Irish is probably not fair either. But yeah, 13 years here, all my adult life is in Ireland. So girls were born in Ireland so you know <laughs> it's a big thing so Poland is different and it changed in those many years so much that yeah <laughs> big thing now how do you like that because I think it's looking smashing I love that love that love that we have all this lovely lovely color I'm not too fancy about that green so I'm gonna just cl clean that off paint that over that's better. It's nearly like grey, which I love. I love grey. I love grey. I hope to record some more videos soon for you, like showing my studio again, updating, although nothing changed except it's more mess, <laughs> more crap around. Uh, but showing you studio, chit chat to you more. I feel that some things have do been done in my life recently, important things, that I feel I can actually now concentrate on other things. You know when you have this in on the back of your mind, something that is there and you kind of cannot let it go and concentrate. Now I feel I can let go and just concentrate. And that's what I would love to do. Record more videos, chatting to you more about things like how to set your shop, how to 
make cards for sale, how to work with your social media and all those kinds of things. So I need a sip of water, forgive me that. The chitty chatter, actually, <laughs> I'm not so used to and prepared recording that I have no water in my bucket for my brush. Okay, I love that. Let me try it. Mm, I think it would be nice to maybe use that stencil. Rosie's Studio. Never heard about them before. Oops. What is wrong with that? Oh, that's the first time ever <laughs> it's stuck to the paper. Well, nice actually. Nice little bonus so nothing will move. Let's see. It's a nice thick stencil. I love all kinds of dots and circles. It's just... I just love it. Okay. So, what kind of idea you have, Marta, now? Think about it. Or maybe going like this. <laughs> delicate and nice <clears throat> I like that oh maybe actually I'm gonna nearly leave it like that like like very delicate oh I love the effect of of um, the opposite to it, like this. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it as it is and wipe it off. But I have quite a number of quite an amount, so I'm gonna take another journal book, move this to the side. Thank you, and. <clears throat> Where will I put it? Where was that page that I could... Oh, there we go. <laughs> All the stencils I've treated here. <laughs> this is such a mess now, but that's okay. You never know how this could... Oops, stand beautiful, isn't it? Let me wash that. Everything is uh, dry now. So I'm going to use this brush pen from Ecoline in color gray and I hope to kind of highlight nicely uh, but at the same time I wish to um, I wish to see if I can use some water and maybe just uh, exactly blend in nicely make a little bit of shading uh, that's a nice gray not too dark so that I can go over it but I'm not really uh, worry that I'm I'm gonna be it's gonna be too dark or something so that is nice actually I have to say uh -huh. and since those are water based as far as I know is it because they are what they are what ecoline watercolor brushes so you can nicely blend in that with your brush uh -huh. I like that. Oops. I like that. I just wish to kind of create this shading effect. This, um, I don't know, that kind of, that kind of effect. And I cannot believe because I'm sitting down like never. <laughs> Am I getting older or what? That I'm sitting down. The last time I was sitting down uh, was when I was pregnant. <laughs> and I was creating and sitting down. Uh, usually I stand up but it's... Do you know how late it is? It's midnight nearly I think now. At this stage. Uh, I just posted a photo of that inspiration work in progress on my Facebook page and on my Instagram 
so that took a little bit of time. <laughs> uh, I love making photos and posting things on social media. I like that. It's part of uh, something that I actually enjoy doing it. Not only creating, but posting and spoiling a little bit. It's nice as well. So, How do you like that now, guys? How do you find this uh, whole... Um, what's the word? Whole um, mm -hmm. highlighting thing. Oh, my phone is doom doom. I didn't tell you that I have a new phone and I'm delighted with it. Uh, so yes, finally after uh, when I broke my previous one so early. Some of you know if you're watching my videos. Uh, Lucas is using my old phone. He's glad to uh, <laughs> to use that, and yeah, and I have a new one, and it's awesome. It is awesome. I show the color. You have to see the back of the color. Look at that. It's like purple and turquoise together. So yeah, it's nice. I like that. I have to say. <clears throat> I was waiting a uh, long time for a new phone um, and it took some time but yeah I'm very pleased with it. I was recording vlogs uh, with that phone on our vacation so hopefully the quality will be nice of that for you to see it. Am I upside down? Of course I am upside down. Yes, I just think that maybe it would be nice to to do a little bit of like, kind of like this, but maybe a different color, a dark one, a black one this time. So we've done delicate shading, but why not to grab no, a black one this time and see about that, like here and see what will happen mm -hmm. there we go ah ha ha that will be nice there we go super it's different than doing with my sprays but I like that you see, not always you have to use sprays. As you can tell, you can just use what you have around. It doesn't want to go on a wet surface that much. I wonder why. Two seconds, I'm going to close that down. Add some water from my brush. A little bit. Not that... There isn't that much water in there, so maybe I'm gonna grab it from there, and that would be nice. A little bit of improvised color, gray, 50 shades of gray. Did I say that out loud? Oops. <laughs> yeah, and my friends are laughing that my house is like 50 shades of gray because of the color in the house, nothing else. <laughs> yeah, well. Let's just not talk about it. This is, yeah, it's late, so now I'm obviously not making sense with my chats, but I could not wait. Since from tomorrow I may not be able to talk to you, I thought, you know what, I feel I need to create you, and I miss you, and you'd be probably happy to see some quick video I have to record. That's it. Done. Decided. Done and dusted. Oh, I can hear little Hannah, a little bit. <laughs> I just hope her night will be peaceful tonight. <clears throat> I really do. Oh, and I can hear her doing like this, which means she <laughs> maybe she's hungry. <laughs> Okay, like that very much because it's nice and delicate and all. But I honestly I do feel I'm missing something. Why don't I grab some of those this time? Because the pastel, this lemonade is like 
this lovely coral here so I may try and use that actually I may try and use that color yes you may hear little Hannah I think she's awake for her food or she needs some carpool for her temperature to go down oh I love that mix now how stunning is this guys tell me tell me now mmm you see sometimes your steps are going nowhere until the step number two or step number three is going somewhere <laughs> and it's taking you to the whole different world like now I wonder if I didn't wake up Hannah with my chit chats but oh I had this lovely comment uh, today on Facebook group I think it's today forgive me if I'm mistaken where a lady posted a comment saying that her dear uh, son is listening to my voice and he was listening to that when he was a tiny baby and that it actually calms him down my voice it's so nice to hear that you know that wow the things are happening that I would never ever ever expect it to happen like when I started chatting I never thought that my voice could be <sighs> calming down kids or even yourselves as an adult I mean I never ever knew that or never predicted that so it's nice and thank you for that comment I love this now guys look how beautiful we're just blending now so all the journaling cards were giving us this awesome lovely startup within what colors to go for and what kind of um, color scheme which is super now I love it love it love it this color scheme is just wow my new favorite well I always loved it I probably just never did it but I always loved it gray and delicate pink coral I love it adore it to bits I have to say that I'm in love with that I promise that this video will be short but it's it seems to be not short but I really hope to post it to you straight away and edit it so because tomorrow I could be knocked down definitely after having both wisdom teeth removed two are gone two more to be gone tomorrow so I'm looking forward to it actually if it's funny to say but I am I really am I had such a nice uh, such a nice doctor such a nice uh, what's what a uh, surge surger that he've done my surgery on that does it, oh I'm looking at the camera I hope you can see it equally well as I do because it is absolutely sensational stunning I could not be more happy and proud with that page how different that is I love that color scheme wow now I do feel now that I'm missing uh, a little bit of dark so I'm gonna grab some maybe here's black let me see there is n there isn't but there's this blue that could be kind of ish in that scheme nearly 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 that white that white is in that scheme ha 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 big time big time my friends mm -hmm. that's interesting so now you probably will be asking me but how do you know how to go about the colors now that you're playing and the answer is I don't I go as I talk I go with the flow I just chance it a little bit here a little bit there and see where it takes me if I think it's awesome color scheme something something I'm going forward with it and so on so it's not that I know anything I quite opposite I am not sure what I'm doing right now either 
but I'm loving it so if you love something just go for it guys and just don't even worry and think about it just go for it you know I don't like those line those those exclamation that's exclamation you know what I'm talking about I didn't like them so I'm gonna change that and the rest I absolutely love hello I don't mind document I don't mind but the, the, them I didn't really like now let's see if we can make this uh, here no I think still I would still prefer to have the black you know me and my black and I have black here ha 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 you know me and the black I have white t-shirt proof white t-shirt <laughs> so I have to be very careful with those paints now yeah I prefer black sorry I just uh, love finishing my pieces somehow with a touch of black or something Oops. the worst is that there's no water inside here but I'm gonna put some water in there right now I hope I'm able to no, probably not, but I'll try. Yay, it's coming together. There we go. <laughs> so the lazy Marta did not have to go to a uh, sink. <laughs> so now when I'm squeezing my brush, Oh, there you go. See, the wind is coming. <laughs> I'm loving that much. Too much, nearly. I'm having too much fun. Right now. Okay. That's a bit too far, too much, but that's okay because... Look, you can just do this. Or leave it, or... Do you know? Oh, distress it a little bit and you know what I love it so much as it is that as always I'm terrified to destroy it to make it look bad or so that's that's why I'm not gonna be doing much now so to finish off our chit chat about the color and wise of things if you look at it when I started doing the edges and the shadowing it's like I really sometimes don't think or most of the time I just don't think why and what I'm doing and that's perfectly fine you don't necessarily have to just keep on going just keep on painting keep on trying until you get the result that you love or you don't you never know how things will turn out but you may end up with something totally out of this world and this is what we love about art journaling mixed media the surprise of things you know the total surprise and now I completely miss that I wish to add more of that uh, lemonade here or salmon a salmon I think it would be nice to just play a little bit more oh, I'm loving this process here but I'm very near to just call it finished which is now and that's what I'm gonna actually do I'm gonna dry that and come back to you in just a second I'm thinking that one of my prints that I have in my Etsy store of my watercolors this butterfly will actually perfectly matches uh, the project so I'm gonna just take that out there we go uh, I'll show you which one I'm talking about. It's this set. Uh, my recent one actually, when you have the butterflies and flowers and birdies and branches and all kinds. So, and also that butterfly is there. Uh, if you like, you can head off to my Etsy so store and have a look at it. Those are my watercolors. I. I painted those and you can have a print of that it will be perfect isn't it I think so I'm gonna fussy cut that and it's done and I think it 
is just perfect for that page, for that color scheme. Um, coral and grey and black and kind of bluish. So I just have to think of where I'm going to put it. And also, uh, as always, I love using my stickers. Uh, they are in my Etsy store. Again, you heard that a million times. <laughs> because I am... Where is... Oh, Emily took that. Oh, yeah. That, that, be, that will be fine. Um, you, you heard that a million times because I use them all the time. Inspire. I love that. I use them all the, all the time. So you heard about it a lot of times, of course. So what I like as well is I'm, I like to use that a tool for... I, I keep on forgetting the name. Bone something. Yeah, it's about yeah paper. <laughs> Inspire. Um, just start and break a blank page. That's my. Uh, I always have some sort of a device, right? Uh, but no, just just go for it and and start. And the blank page won't be blank anymore. Just do it. Just go for it. And as you could tell today. <laughs> zero plan and also using those uh, journaling cards I believe that many of you have a set of set of cards like that or the, all kinds because it was popular some time ago many of, of us I didn't but many of us have bought them cards and never used them or didn't know how to use them or forgot to use them or got hundreds of them I think it's such a good way to use journaling cards on your background why not? who said that you can't? you can you can do anything with them if you wish to just cover them with mediums colors and just it's it's up to you this is your project also don't be afraid that's what I'm gonna say to you next don't be afraid and uh, I, I do believe that using even journaling cards it's a great way to just use them because uh, I, I do know I remember seeing friends saying that they purchased hundreds of them when they were so popular and they stopped journaling or they never did journal actually it just didn't kind of happen to be so yeah um, some sometimes uh, somehow it's it's going to that side as here oh how different <laughs> uh, here I wish to hear you now I think it should be on the I don't know no no I don't know guys I don't know maybe like that no where did I put this one I had the trouble to placing this one as well I remember Maybe like that. Mm. Or placing the f this final creature, <laughs> it's always a trouble. You just have to feel it. And I don't feel it. I nearly feel it to half it and just have it somewhere else. Oh, maybe here actually. Because it's more blue. Yeah, perfect. Because it's more blue, so technically it's standing out more. Yeah, I like that. I do, I do, I really, really do. Okay, and I think it would be so nice as well to add those liquid pearls, the Nuvo drops, since, since, oops, since it's gonna be just nice finishing touch to that project. <laughs> Although, this should be more flat project because it's art journaling but that's okay I don't mind that I really don't oh that's lovely and that's again same color oops clean off uh -huh. I just clean off my finger same color corallish I think it's oh it's nice I like that. What is happening with you with you now? <laughs> Something along those lines, which I think it's super nice. 
you know, when you'll be closing the book, of course this will flatten a little bit, those pearls, but that's okay. I don't mind. This is semi-trans, this is more transparent, translucent, yes. So, I'm not sure if it's any point of adding that in here, but maybe a little bit. To have it just a touch on the black, so it will be like transparent. Yeah, it could be nice. That's it. Enough is enough. I think we can call it finish. We can be super proud of that project. And I am. I really am. Ah, oh, it was so nice to be back to you with a small inspiration. A mixed media art journaling. A bit of collaging, I would say. No, well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Using art journaling cards, project life cards was fun. I think uh, I'll do that more often. It's interesting to see the background, how it turned out. And when you start covering that with gesso, you think, oh, Jesus, that's a, not the best direction to go. But no, it's turned out to be quite good. I hope you loved that scheme, color scheme, because I, I really, truly enjoy it, love it. It's probably my most favorite. I wish my house to be like that. <laughs> And uh, I'll kindly ask you if you enjoyed that video, please do share this video on your social media with your friends. It will help me tre tremendously, a lot, uh, to stay um, visible on, on YouTube for everyone else to enjoy my tutorials. So yes, sharing is caring and I would love that. And of course, I love hearing from you your opinion and how was that inspirational for you. Looking forward to seeing your projects. Use hashtag MarimiSmallArt uh, so that way I can see your mix. Thank you so much. I'll chat to you super soon. Have fun uh, painting, creating your art journal pages. Happy crafting. Bye. Bye bye.